Hi. I dropped my card holder on the ground and something inside the card holder broke, which basically the mechanism that pushes the card out does not work anymore. So I decided to open it and basically there is a piece of plastic like this, which when you push it, it pushes the card out. And underneath it, there are some sort of teeth, which pushes different cards, different amount. So you can select your desired card. I tried to melt it together and attach them together. This piece was broken, but it did not work. It broke again. So now I'm going to show you how to make a replica of this and 3D print it. Originally also there was a spring that was connected from here to this side. So when you push it, it goes there and when you remove your hand, the spring will pull it back. I also lost that spring. So no spring anymore, but we are going to make a replica of this. All right, so now I'm going to create a drawing of this. Very simple, we just define the outer boundaries. There is a hole inside which we should mark it properly. Also this side is this part and this part is a bit thick. So it's like this is a rough drawing. All right, now I take a picture of this and transfer it to computer. All right, so here I have the picture. I'm going to resize it first to make it smaller because later on we want to import it into console, so it's better to have a smaller picture. So save it as number one. Okay, so now I open console, 3D model. And because we don't want to create any simulation, we just continue to get to the geometry. Obviously, many of you may not have console. You can use any other 3D software. Okay, so right-click on geometry, create a work plane. Click on developer, add Zen, image to curve. Then you browse the image. Now for the actual device, I know that this part was more or less parallel to this part. Now here it's a little bit not parallel. So when I want to redraw it, I have to consider that. All right, so now we have the general shape of this. We have to now redraw it. You click on the scat, polygon, and we are going to recreate this geometry. I'm not going to be too accurate here because it doesn't matter. This is a broken piece, so just going to try it. You create a polygon. Every time you click, you can zoom in and out to select the next point. So this is the first polygon, I'm going to create a second one, this is the second polygon, and then the third one, alright, so this is the third one, so if you want to modify, you can take the point, and actually move it aside, make it smaller or larger, if you want. But this is fine, and finally we have to put the circle. And here's the circle. So we can now move everything away. Alright, so this is the rough shape of our geometry. We can actually delete the other stuff. 
the original one so this is our geometry now we can add fillet to make everywhere round okay maybe another fillet that is good all right so now we have the whole geometry we can also subtract this one right click difference this one minus the circle this is good now we are going to create the teeth in this case we can go into polygon again maybe up to here So I'm going to have six or seven sections. So one of them is the base. Maybe six sections on this. So again, polygon. There's one section. Two sections. Now here I do not measure it. I just do it by eyes. I think it's okay. It doesn't matter. Three sections. But if you want to be very accurate, then you have to obviously measure them. And this is five. Now, for example, this is too much, so I can shift it. You click on it and move it up. But then now you see that the points are not on the other line, so you can actually select the point, drag it, and put it on that other line to make sure that they are top of each other okay so we have also created that now we are going to extrude so right click here extrude from work plane you select faces so first i extrude this one I'm going to extrude it for this much i have already done some measurement on the actual device that's why i know how much i should extrude by the way, the shape that we have here, this one is obviously much larger than the original device. This one is half a meter. The original one is around five centimeters. So later on, I have to scale it down 10 times so that it matches with the actual one. This is one, and then we are going to extrude the other parts. So to create these teeth. This is a very good example that sometimes knowing to do something maybe is not good because then you waste your time in doing something like this and in reality you could just buy a new card reader for 10 euro or 20 euro and would not waste time to design such a thing. All right, so now I have the design. I can also convert it into union. Remember to remove the keep interior boundaries. So this will be the final design. I have to also scale it down. So this one maybe 10 times less, 0 0.1. Okay. Actually, so now I have this one. I can right click on geometry, export, and you select STL. We are going to export it to card old final. So the file is now exported. I open it with Creality to create the G code, and then I can 3D print it. All right, so here is the the geometry that we have created. Of course, this part is the weak part, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to take a lot of force. So we can slice it, and then we can check it here. Everything seems to be good. Okay, so now I can save it. 
and now it goes for 3D printing. All right, so our 3D print is ready, as you can see. Of course, this region is a weak point, but it doesn't matter. I should have maybe put some more plastic there, but okay. So let's see how it works. So I can press it in. This one works properly. It is not perfectly parallel to that. Maybe it doesn't matter. Or alternatively, what we can do is to maybe hit it a bit. Ah, no! Don't bend that way. Okay, so I bend it a little bit toward that side. It's so soft, this plastic. The little bit of heat, it was almost falling apart. But okay, I think now this one is perfect. Even if I wouldn't do it, it would, would be already good. So now it's perfectly parallel. And this is what we have. Okay, let me I put it inside this. The moment of the truth. I put my card. Well, it works more or less okay. Of course, I didn't put the spring there so that it can pull it back itself. But this one works properly. So card holder is fixed. All right. Bye.